But first, tonight at 10, new developments in a local race that garnered a lot of attention ahead of the primary election earlier this month. 19-year-old Aaron Coleman ran in the primary election against incumbent Stan Fraunfelder for the 37th district seat, covering Wyandotte County in the Kansas House of Representatives, and the race was close. In fact, initial results on election night showed it was too close to call, with just one vote separating those two candidates. It wasn't until two weeks later that the Wyandotte County Board of Canvassers certified that 19-year-old Coleman won that election. It was decided by just 14 points. Now Coleman is withdrawing his nomination. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains. He is the 19 year old who made headlines for unseating a longtime Kansas representative. I have knocked a thousand doors. But now Aaron Coleman is dropping out. Through a series of tweets Sunday, Coleman announced he is withdrawing his name as the Democratic nominee for the 37th House District in Kansas. Tweeting in part, after talking with my family and my supporters, I've made the decision to withdraw so I can focus on caring for my family. I wasn't expecting it, but I wasn't too surprised. Wyandotte County Democratic Party Chair Jox Barber received a call from Coleman Saturday night. There was uh, a lot of uh, statements made about uh, he should uh, resign, uh, that he was unfit for office. Uh, that the party should condemn him. Coleman won the August primary by just 14 votes, which essentially gave him a clear path towards a seat in the Kansas House because no Republican had filed to run against him. But since winning the nomination, the teen has faced controversy, accusations of online bullying, blackmail, and revenge porn he told the Associated Press were true. Tweeting Sunday, I regret my past actions and hope to continually learn from them as I grow into the person I hope to be. My dad is in the hospital and I never expected this kind of attention. It's too much. Where we go right now is to look at the process we go through for uh, selecting an alternate candidate. Kansas law allows nominees to withdraw before September 1st if there's a severe medical hardship on the nominee or the nominee's immediate family. Barber will have to call for a district convention to fill the vacancy, which he says will then have to be approved by the Kansas governor. At this point, it's open to anyone, but it's uh, ultimately going to be left up to the people in the district. Reporting in Wyandotte County, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. We did reach out to Coleman multiple times, but we did not receive a response. He unsuccessfully ran his own write-in campaign for Kansas governor back in 2018. To read more of his tweets explaining his decision to withdraw, you can just visit our website, KSHB.com.